What's up everybody? Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to change some light bulbs in your door. I am switching mine out to LEDs. So those right here are the ones I got. Chips LED is supposed to be a lifetime bulb by uh, Samsung. High powered 6 watts. So Let's go ahead and show you guys how to remove these light lenses and change them out. So over here on the door, you got the red part and you got the white part. So you're going to take right above the red part. And gently pry it out. So there's... I don't know if you can see that right there, but there's a little lip piece that you got to get from underneath there. And then it just slides out this way. Literally just slides. You see these prongs right here. And this light just unplugs right here from the housing. Don't, don't pull on these wires because you will probably pull them out. Make sure you hold on to this and the plastic piece and pull it directly out. If you have a button to turn your lights off inside your cab, I recommend doing that because these uh, bulbs right here get really hot. So just turn it off, give it a second to cool down and we'll go ahead and pull that out and put in these LEDs. Now with LEDs, I'm not sure if it's with all of them, but uh, I'll say most of them, they have a polarity issue. So the LEDs will only go in one way. So if, the, if you stick the bulb in and it, light, it does not light up, don't throw it away. Take it out, reverse it, and stick it in the opposite way that you had it. And see if it lights up then. If it does not light up then, then you might have a bad bulb. So let's get to this. Again, these are the LEDs that I'm going to be putting in. I'm not sure if you guys can see that very good. Uh, let's put it in. Okay, so I just installed the light. And uh, that's blue. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It's pretty bright out here. But um, when I put it in the first time, it did not light up. I pulled it out, flipped it around, stuck it in the other way. And as you can see, it's lighting up now. I'll do a video at night too to show you guys just how bright these things are. So... Now you just reverse the steps. Just stick it back in there. I'm not sure if I could do this one-handed. Damn, there we go. Oops, I'm not even getting it in there. It just clips right back in. And then you just slide it back this way. Make sure those clips are back in there. And just push it in. I know it sounds like you broke something, but you didn't. So, that is how you change your door lights. This is an O2 Chevy Tahoe. I'm pretty sure it works for the Denali's, the Suburbans, um, a couple of the other ones, maybe even Silverado. Um, I know that my truck and those vehicles are pretty much compatible with each other um, when it comes to parts and accessories and stuff. So, there you guys go. I won't show you any other ones because it's the same thing, same process for each door. Just make sure you get it right here in the red spot. And just gently pry. Don't pry between the red piece and the housing because you will break that lens right off. And I'm not sure you can go to your local parts store and pick these up. You might have to go to the dealer to get them. So just be careful not to break them. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend LEDs. They are extremely bright. Love them lowers your uh, voltage and wattage or whatever it is so there you guys go I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions comments leave them in the comment box make sure you subscribe go check out my Facebook performance and customs thanks for watching guys